Steven here with Rise HQ. Let's talk about fuel cells. Uh, so today we are going to go over a basic idea of what a fuel cell is. We're going to talk about a little bit of the importance of a fuel cell and how it works. Um, currently, our society is powered by electricity. It's everything that we do and use uh, is powered by electricity. Um, but that electricity is generated from very dirty means. Uh, it's currently generated from fossil fuels being burned. And it's not good for our environment. So a cleaner solution uh, to generating energy is through hydrogen fuel cell or fuel cells in general. Like this guy right here uh, is a much cleaner method of creating energy. The only byproduct is water, so fuel cells. So, what is a hydrogen fuel cell? Uh, in many ways, I would describe a hydrogen fuel cell a lot like an Oreo cookie, in the sense that you have your two sides, right? You have your anode and you have your cathode. And in the middle, you have your electrolytic layer or your gas diffusion layer. And so what happens is you have hydrogen going in through one side. It kind of goes through this middle layer here and it mixes with oxygen on the other side and energy is produced. So essentially with an Oreo cookie and a fuel cell, all the magic is in the middle. That's pretty good. I haven't had an Oreo in a while. Hmm. So essentially a fuel cell is an electrochemical device that takes hydrogen rich gases and oxygen and it produces electricity. All right. So how exactly does that happen? Well, let's jump inside a fuel cell and find out. What we have going on here, as you can see, is hydrogen is flowing in through the anode side. Now what's happened with the hydrogen here is the electrons are being stripped off of the hydrogen ion and the electrons are going through the top. They're going through a load, right? This is how we actually get power, right? So the electrons are going through the load, as you can see here. Now the hydrogen is going through the electrolytic layer, the, hydro the positive hydrogen ion, and that's meeting up with oxygen in the cathode side. Now from here, the electrons are coming back through and the electrons are allowing the hydrogen and the oxygen to bond together to make water. Now this whole process is creating energy and it's making water, right? So we have hydrogen flowing in through one side, kind of creeping through the middle, meeting up with oxygen, making water and making power, right? In simplest terms, that's how a fuel cell works. So now that we understand what a fuel cell is and how it works, uh, let's actually go and do an experiment and see in person how the fuel cell works. Okay, so first things first, take your fuel cell and we're gonna get our silicone tubes here and we're gonna start attaching these silicone tubes to the little spouts that are coming out of this, the fuel cell. You're gonna notice that there's two on the hydrogen side and there's two on the oxygen side, okay? Each of these is gonna need a little silicone tube. So we put one on the top. I like to use bigger ones on the top and you'll see why in a second. This is what we attach our syringes to. Okay, and then we're gonna take our smaller ones here and attach them to the bottom sides. Bottom of the hydrogen side, bottom of the oxygen side. So this is what you should get when you're finished with, we'll call it step one of the fuel cell. Step two is going to be to use your fuel cell as an electrolyzer, and we're gonna make some hydrogen and oxygen gas. So what we need to do here is on the bottom tubes, we are going to, I like to use these little clips for this portion, so we'll just slide the clips on right now, and you'll kind of see why in a second here. There is the uh, little clip here on your hydrogen side, and then from here, you're going to attach it to your check valve. Uh, and you're going to notice that there's two little spouts coming off. You're going to want the one on the outside. Okay, not the one in the middle, the one on the outside. Okay, and our hydrogen side's done. Do the same thing for your oxygen side. So, put our little clip on here. Put that through. Go and we're going to put the check valve on the oxygen side. And 
we're halfway through step two. Now the next part of this is you're gonna take your syringes here. And again, you might notice that these syringes say single use only. Don't throw them away after your first time, okay? Uh, these are for medical use. So if you were using them for medical purposes, use it once, throw it away. Um, but for our purposes here, use them as many times as you can until they no longer work. So keep using them, don't throw them away after one use. So we're gonna take our syringe, we're gonna go into our distilled water here. And we only need about, let's get, let's get about two milliliters of water. We'll call it three. Three milliliters of our distilled water. And I'm gonna plug this first syringe into our hydrogen side. Okay. And then we're gonna get our second syringe here, do the same thing, get about three milliliters. And we're gonna plug it into our oxygen side. Okay. Now you may notice this part's a little tricky. Uh, it's okay. Just keep at it, you'll get it, I promise. Okay, now from here, you can do this a couple different ways. Uh, usually what I like to do first is I will detach our check valves. Right? I'll leave one detached and one attached just so you can understand why. But So for the oxygen side, we took our check valve off and I'm just going to run the water through. And when the water comes out through the other side, you're good. So you notice we got water coming out of the other side, we're good. I'm going to take that, leave it all the way down, don't detach it. And now reattach your check valve. Okay. Now, like I said, you can leave the check valve attached, it'll still work, but you may make a bit more of a mess. So. Just watch this middle one when I do it. You're gonna have water squirting out all over the place. See that? That is why I like to leave it attached or detached. But either way, it's fine, it'll still work. Okay, so from here, you have your fuel cell set up. Now you're ready to make some hydrogen and some oxygen. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna take your battery box, which you've, I've already put the, unscrew this, put your AA batteries in, and now just match colors. So red goes to the red side, black goes to the black side, and we press on. Now you should notice, very slowly, these are starting to fill with what appears to be air. It is not air. On our anode side, or our negative side, we have hydrogen being produced. And on our cathode side, or our positive side, we have oxygen being produced. Now you may start to notice one side is filling up faster than the other. Our hydrogen side is filling up roughly twice as fast as our oxygen side. Now the reasoning for this is because the chemical composition of water, you have H2O. So you physically have twice as much hydrogen as you do oxygen and we can see it. So this is about right. And we'll let this go for a little bit until our hydrogen gets to about 10 milliliters. And then we'll go ahead and cut it off for this experiment. Science, gotta be a little patient for it. Okay, so that's about right. Let's turn our power off. we we'll disconnect our battery box. And now if you wanted to, you can also use a solar panel or a wind turbine or something to simulate this. Um, but for the sake of what we're doing, battery box works fine. Now, now that we have, so we use the electricity from the box to split the water molecules and we have oxygen and hydrogen. And we're gonna use the stored energy from our gases to create electricity. Now we're gonna take our leads here with the alligator clips. The alligator clip is gonna face away, okay? And the little nice little lead here is gonna go into our positive side. And the same with our negative side. And now you hook it up to a load. So I'm simply gonna use our LED little diodes here, right? And same thing, black to black, red to red. And this should light up as we can see here. So I'm gonna make this look nice and neat. And that'll go for a while. This, we have enough stored energy here, and this, this LED consumes energy at such a low rate that this will go for a long time. Um, but when you get to, if you're just sitting here experimenting with this, if you notice that these lights start to get dim or they start to kind of turn off, all you're gonna do is take your oxygen side here and just push a little bit more oxygen through that. So what's happening is because of the chemical reaction, we're having water being built up here on our cathode side. So all you gotta do is just purge that water out. So you're gonna notice here from the middle, you might get a little bit of water coming out of this. I'm just gonna purge it slightly. 
Got a little bit more water coming out. And if you notice, the lights actually got brighter from when I did that. So we are producing water, as you can see here. I'll purge a little bit more. There's probably a little bit of excess water in there, but it's okay. And as you can see, our fuel cell is running strong. So how does a fuel cell work? That's how it works. You get hydrogen and oxygen gas, you run it through your cell, a little bit of science stuff's happening, and you create power and a little bit of water. So you want a cleaner future? That's the way to do it.